Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tips. In this tip, we are going to learn how to use WPML, the multilingual plugin with WPLMS. So after you have installed the WPML plugin, you will get a WPML link in the WordPress dashboard and inside this you can see the translation options and the settings. So first up we need to enable the WPML for courses, units, quizzes and the other custom post types that we are using for WPLMS. So we will straight away go to translation options and here we need to configure the custom post. So for courses, units, quizzes, questions, events, assignments certificates all the all the custom uh, post type that you want to translate with WP ML you need to select them here so also the custom taxonomies so the course categories and and the course tag and event types you can select so once you have selected the taxonomies and the custom post types you need to save these save the settings so after you have saved the settings now if you go to LMS all courses section you'll see a plus icon you also need to configure the languages that you will be using for the theme so for this example I have selected one more language that is Spanish so you can add more languages you'll see the plus icon which will allow you to add the translation translated version of the course in Spanish so we'll pick up a course and we'll add the content so you can translate the text similarly you need to set up the whole course once again such as total duration number of students and you also need to add the units so note that the units also need to be translated so you you need to have units already translated in the in the custom language so we'll select the units so after you have translated the course in the other language and set up all the parameters in the course settings including adding the translated units in the course curriculum and the translated quizzes in the course curriculum also connecting the product if you are showing the product so you can also connect the translated product with the membership so once you have done all these settings you need to translate the start course page so if you have downloaded sample data then the the page will be course status so you need to translate the course status page and add the translated version for for the course status so once you have set up this page in in the translated language you can simply update it and now if you open any course and add the WPML language switcher widget in the sidebar you can see that when we shift to the other language we see the course we just built so both of these courses will act as independent courses so if we take a course in English then it is a different course as you can see so if we take the course in Spanish so both the courses are independent of each other although they are connected by the language parameter that's it from WPLMS tips thanks for watching